Let's talk reality. This Montana White with the Montana White Show here, Pop Money, Power, and Politics. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button because, wow, I'm, I'm tripping. I'm standing in Atlanta. I'm looking out my window. It's traffic on the freeway. It's a beautiful day. Uh, Invest Fest is going down this weekend. You go to Instagram. Black people are living their best lives, right? And then, bang, you know, a white guy goes into a place and kills three black people randomly and is a alleged uh, professed racist, right? Now, of course, we had the incident in Alabama where black people were cheering, oh, we're going to make this a holiday, we ready to fight back, you know, and the video played and they made memes and... You know, black people celebrated a moment of resistance. A moment of resistance, right? But then, you know, this thing bigger than me, man. This thing bigger than what we think standing on the corners and what we talk about in our circles. They got real organized groups. Real militias in America. Real hate groups. That's on some superior superior. Dominance, white pride that's on some, uh, uh, we're not giving this up and they fighting for it. Understand this since the inception of America, they've been fighting for it year after year. They took the space, they keeping people out the space, they willing to dealing with cultures around the world. The strongest military around the world will do whatever is necessary. Will nuclear bomb your ass and keep everybody else in line. But on the surface, inside of America, you know, because black people go out and represent America in all kind of ways. The armed forces, the Olympics, you name it. But then when you come home to America, black people are under pressure as well. By the local authorities, by the local idea, by the education system, by all parts of American history, black people are are, are, are subjected to an incredible amount of pressure for just being black in America. So when we do see a spark of resistance, when we do see a brother fighting back, because we rarely ever see a brother fighting back. We see brothers killing each other. Niggas gonna kill niggas, right? But we rarely see black people fighting back. We weren't here for Nat Turner. There's no video of that. Even though, you know, hey man, at the end, they cannibalized him, turned him into grease and boots and kept his skull at a college. Hey, man, American history for black people is an American horror story. Even when we do shine, we shining from coming out the mud. You feel me? But the wake-up call need to be serious. Them chairs wasn't shit. These people got real hitters, real soldiers out here that's living and dying for that ideology. And that's it's going to keep niggas in line. Now, what's going to happen to this guy, right? I can't name. I don't know where to start, where to end, who's in court. What happened to this shooter, the church shooter, the school shooter? What ha- Are these guys even, we know they're in jail, but have they even got sentenced yet? It happens so fast that once you post it or you post something and you get into it, something else happens and you have to reset and start all over again. So for black people, you know, I know the chairs was hilarious. I know the videos was hilarious, but they just sent another hitter in our community. And our community is not responding We don't have soldiers. This is a fact. They have soldiers. They know when they go into the system, 
whatever ideology that was implemented into their heads for them to do what they did, they know they're going to be taken care of at a federal level, soft glove approach, he mental health, all of they're going to check off all the boxes. He's going to go to a nice American prison. You feel me? And guess what? Because I was in the prisons. Niggas ain't going to do shit. This Montana White. With the Montana White show. Hip hop, money, power, and politics. Nigga. Basketball players and rappers and shit can't save us. We don't got no military structure. We don't have no judicial structure. We can't even police ourselves. We run to them when we got problems with each other. They don't do that shit in Chinatown. But, you know, enjoy the day. I'm out.